need a 30 for 30 to show that I'm different like Jordan and Pim and your I need a 30 for 30 like Jalen and Webber. Nobody gon' fuck on my clip. I need a 30 for 30. All right, fellas, something we've been saying for quite a while now. It seemed like the last 20 years that the East, the Eastern Conference in the NBA has trailed the Western Conference in the NBA. We can look at the records. We can look at uh, 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 who been winning the championships and where the strong teams been at, what playoffs uh, have been more competitive and stuff like that. And it all it's all telling us the same thing. Right now, if you look at the standings, and again, we're taping this uh, March 1st uh, uh, on a Monday. All right, so as of right now, the eighth seed in the West is 19 and 16, the Golden State Warriors. Yes, the Golden State Warriors that I picked to have the two seed. Okay. All right. <laughs> but l- listen to me, America. This is what I'm saying. This is, what I'm getting to. this is how fucked up shit is. If the Warriors were in the East, the Warriors would be the fourth seed right now. And they're eighth in the West. Okay. That's how fucked up shit is. Uh, uh, in the West, Dallas... Is out of the playoffs. But if they were in the East, they'd be sitting right there tied for four. Right there for four. Like, folks are busting nuts and shit and having, they're having orgasms uh, in New York. And guys like our partner Rob Patty are ecstatic. Stephen A. Smith is ecstatic because the New York Knicks are one game above 500. And they happen to be in the fourth seed. Like, this shit is crazy, and it's been going on for so long. Charlotte is two games under 500. And we actually, like, Mike Jordan finally got some. No, he's two games under 500. If this shit was in the West, we'll be saying, so Mike, to the playoffs. So it really got my wheel, uh, 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 wheels turning to why I want to know. I don't know. We, uh, Of course, we can't answer this definitively. But you know, we all sports lovers and we want uh, y'all brilliant men. Want to pick y'all up and try to like, bro. Why the fuck is this that for at least the last 20 years? Because like when Mike played, the East was good. But since that Shaq Kobe era on up until now, it's like we always saying the Eastern Conference. Now, before I throw it to y'all, I will tell America about this. When there's a little research, all right, by all NBA teams in the in the uh NBA, and what I found was startling. I'm looking at just the all NBA first team, uh, so I want to dive more into it and look at all three teams. But just looking at the all NBA first team since 2000 up until last year, 2020 season, so that's 21 seasons all together. The Western Conference has had 71. Players selected on the All NBA first team, while the East has only had 34. Again, since 2000, on the All NBA first team, again, that throws out conference. It ain't like the All Star game. It ain't even no popularity contest either. It's just who's the best in the league position. You get two guards, you get two forwards, you get a center. And since 2000, It's been 71 players selected from the West. It's been 34 selected from the East. There was one year in 2007 where all five spots were guys from the West. In 2008, 2009, 2010, and 2011, the East had three, and the West had two in those years. Other than that, every single year, the West has had more. I told you about the one with five, but 2000, they had four. 03, they had four. 04, they had four. And then since 2015, up until last year, it's been four. It was like from 2015, it was like four guys out the West and LeBron. And then when LeBron came West, it four guys out the West and Giannis. What the hell is going on, y'all? What do y'all thought? T, what you got? I mean, it, to me, it's simple. It's mismanagement. It's, it's poor management. That's that's the East. Um, they they do not do a really good job of scouting. I don't think they do a really good job of making deals. 
I think every deal has been slated to be pushed to the West. It's like, either they let these guys go West or they trade picks and it's be a really good guy that ends up in the West or something to that sort. For instance, Kawhi Leonard. He was the 15th pick in the NBA draft that year. They, he was going to be a pacer. And San Antonio cruised right on in with George Hill and said, we'll give you that guy for that guy. And Kawhi becomes a spur, and the rest is history. Finals MVP, the year they said he was the, the guy to, that could stop LeBron, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Dirk Nowitzki was going to be a Milwaukee Buck, playing alongside Ray Allen. Bucks tricked that trade, that play, that uh, pick off to Dallas, and now you've got probably the greatest Maverick ever in Dallas. Um, let's see. There were some real shit to you. I give you another. That, go ahead. Kobe would have been a Charlotte Hornet. He was gonna be a Hornet. Shaq was in Orlando. All they had to do is. What what he got pissed about the money? Who, they Shaq? were hedging on his money or something, wasn't it? Shaq. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was a money thing. I think I think it was a money thing, something like that. That yeah. That, that damn mm. gone. But again, I mean, it's just mismanagement. So you, even when even when uh, Boston had the run, that was Danny Ainge being shrewd enough to make it happen. Pat Riley, shrewd enough to pull it off. Um, those were the two teams prior to LeBron coming back to Cleveland that you that were notable Eastern Conference teams. Orlando got lucky one time and got to the dance. We don't even they don't even acknowledge really the Nets. Everybody was like, "Well, you know the Nets gonna make." Uh, Detroit, those what couple years there where they had that run, but at the same time though. You know, it was like they 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 get it done, but they got it done with a very good front office guy in Joe Dumas, who I think should still have a job somewhere. And Larry Brown is all is a Hall of Fame coach. So they were able to get that done. It was nasty. Don't get me wrong. That finals was nasty, but they got it done. But the West has always been ahead of the curve when it came to players. I mean, like really when you look at it, I don't really think about international players. In the East, all the international guys are in the West. Yao Ming, Dirk Nowitzki, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker. Um, who am I missing? Just international talent. Luka we got today. Giannis now, but Giannis he, now he's that one that guy yeah. for, the, for the East. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's just they're just it just seems to me like they're behind. I mean, we ain't even got to talk about the Knicks. Okay, we ain't even got to talk about them. But that's crazy. They it's, call themselves the Mecca. Think about it. And they think don't they don't go hard for that. Think about it like this. Sam Presti, I believe, was a he was part of the Spurs organization mm -hmm. at one time. And then he went and got a job as a GM for OKC. Think about what Sam Presti has done and is still doing now. Okay. For instance, so Sam Presti got i believe he was there at the time he so he had harden he had russ he had kd okay all that didn't work out so then he now you look at the paul george russ situation and look at the luxury of draft picks that guy has gotten from that situation that dude has got draft picks right now for a long time a lot of first round picks he manufactured from just those kind of moves that he made. They're going to be the only one picking. You look at Bob Myers in Gold State. Draymond, All right. Clay, Steph. He, he drafted those guys. So it's like, what is everybody missing that these guys are getting? And I don't know if it's just because it just so happens they just fell into the West and that's just, they just really genius guys. Like, I think they could do it anywhere. That's a lot but, of years, though. You know, it it can't be just happenstance. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's been happening is, so long. Think of think about it. I mean, to me, this is how, this is how I look at it, really and truly. I think you look at Boston, the New York market. 
the Chicago market. What do you think rules more than basketball? Baseball. And I think okay, that that's what I was trying to get into. Are these folks prioritizing other sports over basketball in these gigantic markets? We talking really Philadelphia, uh, uh, New York, Miami, Boston. These cities, these Chicago, these now are Miami, some major. Washington D.C. I mean, Miami has always tried to stay in the mix. In our in our time. They tried they to, try. always tried to be they in the mix. Try. Okay. And Pat has always done things and tried to keep things afloat. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say Miami has just done a horrible job. But true that, me, true that, true that, true I that. I look at Boston, I look at New York, I look at New Jersey or Brooklyn now. And Brooklyn's just finally boom, they back in the forefront. But it took making moves to make it happen. And so it just seems like the East is just so far behind that. I just I don't know if they really care about being a championship basketball town like I think the West, the Western Conference teams do. I, I really so do don't you think, think they don't they fuck do. with football and baseball as much out in the West, like Western cities, that culture of Western towns and stuff. Do they love bo- I, basketball I mean, more? Or outside something? of uh, outside of L.A., you know, like L.A. Um, is a is a Laker town. Yeah, the Dodgers are there. Okay, that's an LA Laker town. You are looking, you popping. You know, the 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 Raiders held their own for 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 a second there. Yeah, it's it's just I I think it's just really just poor poor management, scouting departments, developmental people, those people that go out, get on the road, go hit the go hit the circuit, go look at guys in Europe, go look at these guys from from all these other places. I mean, think about it, man. The, the way even the even other international guys think about Pasia. Who knew what Pasia Stoyakovich was? But he was great in Sacramento. Bad motherfucker. In his heyday, in his prime heyday, Pasia was a bad dude. Hey, they got him and Turgaloo. And now I know Turgaloo ended up going east, but hey, he yeah. started off over there in Sac Town. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like I, I just I just think they have missed the boat. And and it took basketball minds like Danny Ainge, Pat Riley, those guys, Joe Dumars, these are all basketball minds now that understand what it takes to make a team come to fruition. Other than that, what has anybody else done? In real? In real. Jojo, what were your thoughts on it, man? Well, why in the hell uh-huh. does, does the East always turn out to be the least? So I, I do agree with T. Um as far as the failure from ownership management standpoint. But I also feel like they are, you know how people say with Mississippi that we we're behind because of lack of education, you know, things like that. Well, <clears throat> I think weather has a lot to do with it. A lot of the Eastern conference teams are in cold weather. It's only like four teams in the East. That's like warm weather. You know, Miami, <clears throat> excuse me, Miami, Orlando, um, who who I'm missing it out with? Miami, Orlando, Atlanta. Charlotte, Atlanta. Charlotte now. Um, you say Atlanta. Atlanta. But in the West, you got 11 teams that have warm weather. You know what I mean? So that's why I think if you notice, um, you got Katie and Harden that just and – well, Kyrie was already east, but those two went from west to east. Most of the free agents, when they're free, they're picking, they're looking for a warm city, and most times they go west. So that that's where the talent tends to migrate to. Okay, it's, so you're looking at it from the free agency standpoint of the guys, right? Okay, so T, you were looking at it from the draft standpoint. Draft. You're looking at the free agency yeah. standpoint, and when you put all of that together. You're gonna you have got. you're gonna have this. That's interesting for me, man. So, but with that said, because they are behind the eight ball, so to speak, they gotta draft well. You're gonna have to draft the superstars. Yeah. And another thing, too, that they talked about in an article I kind of read, and I didn't think about this, but it's true, was just the style of play, the coaching, um, the styles of coaching, like. Okay. Conference, you think about it. 
it's a lot of system type stuff in the East, like Indiana, uh, Chicago. We all know about Tibbs and his system, how Tibbs wanted to do things, you know, um, Vogel at Indiana, how he wanted to do things. Um, now, if you even – now, that even going back to our childhood, that East was always considered grimier it than the West. It but you had some guys that can get some buckets in the East, though. But, but it was going to be in the 80s. Guys. The score was going to be in the 80s. But, yeah, it still was grimy, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You had Mike, you had Reggie over there getting buckets and stuff like that. Pat Ewan was an offensive center as well as a, as a defensive guy. But it was grimy. Okay. And that in the West been more free flowing for a long time, mm-hmm. and then especially once Dan Tony did what he did, the yeah. West. But that, God damn, man, it's like it's some money you, to be made. To now, me. now you forgot about Gunn and Nelson. Now, Dun, that, yeah, he used to run and gun back then. You right, yeah. you right. But I'm just tripping, man, off what we saying. You got a New York market, you got a Chicago market, you got uh, DC. You got Philly. Yeah, Philly. This motherfucker love ball, man. It seemed to me if I was owning a team, I'm going to go all in and make sure I get good scouting team. And then on, from your standpoint, Joe, it might be cold, but I'm going to make it worth their while to come on up here in this cold. Right. I'm a goddamn – because if you can win basketball in these cities we talking about, bruh. You you there? Y'all remember oh. how Philly was when AI was hooping? It's cold. Oh. That, that gym was lit. That shit was crazy. It, it was the first time people saw Philly as a brotherly love city. <laughs> it's probably true. It's, but, uh, it is, it's, it's crazy, man. You know, I mean, but, then, you know, you think about the, the coaches that come from the West, like Pop. Um, I don't know how much credence you want to give Steve Kerr because, I mean, he came in, it was loaded. Uh, but George Carl, um, I know Rick Carlisle was a Detroit guy, but then you know he got to Dallas and he won one in Dallas. Um, I mean, you know, Dan Tony, if you want to throw him in there, I mean, it's just it just it's just some really good guys. Scotty Brooks was a really good coach. I mean, I mean, and he's trying to right the ship in in uh in Washington. He's trying to right the ship. I told Hold you on, that. what 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 was that team? I told you what he was doing. He trying to write the ship in Washington. I told you what he doing. I, I told you I what he was gonna do. I appreciate that. You hear that, I, Joseph? Being mm-hmm. in forty six, that that does something. So you, did you know hear how, him, Joseph? I did. You know how you just spoke about they come these records, and we're talking about the Knicks. They coming, man. Being one game over five hundred. Oh, okay, but that's what I said though. I said because it's the lowly East. Uh-huh. I said with two superstars. They should at least be able to make the eight seed, and they two and a half games out, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's a nice way to put it. They are twelfth right now. Two and a half games out, and I think they like seventy in their last ten, if I'm not mistaken. Well, in in that case, doesn't it seem like wins are hard to come by in the East? I'm I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no man, they would now they were hit by COVID. They were hit they by were, COVID. They gonna yeah. have them all NBA first team of this year. Brad Bill probably gonna make first team. Oh, we, gonna, we gonna do a segment on this when, when mm-hmm. All Star. I want to get y'all mid season all NBA teams, but right. I think he gonna be one of them ones out of the East. I think I, I mean that's gonna make it. yeah. I, I I like the way you say they were hit by that COVID. That might be the only two. That might be the losing. East only two. They no, hold on. They got James Harden. You got Kyrie. You got Kevin Durant. Yeah, you got you you got a few over there now. It's gonna be top heavy. We're gonna have to see. Cabron gonna get a spot. But I know I know COVID gets a bad rep and deservedly so. But I don't want you to put that you can't use COVID for Washington because they was losing before that happened. Joe, COVID wrecked them boys, man. COVID, so, don't sleep on COVID. COVID so, doing numbers. COVID so doing brand bill numbers. So the O N before COVID had nothing to do with it. Oh, Joe, that was early. That's because it was early. I explained that early. one already. Yeah, that's that's what that was. It so was what early. Bradley Bill doing? What is he doing? 
Bradley Bill is scoring the ball. That's what he's doing. He's scoring the ball. What are you getting? Like 30? Yeah, he's scoring the ball. He's getting 30. He like up there with Steel, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. What you setting me up for? Ooh, See, America, you know point. what? <laughs> You're making his point. Man. Well, America, if you, wherever you're watching, if you watching it on Facebook, Instagram, goddamn it, or if you're watching on YouTube, Ooh. go over to Facebook and Instagram. Tell us what you think. Why in the hell has the East been the least for the past two decades? Because we can't figure it out. Give us something clever, too. Well, actually, my brother did a good job of figuring it out, but we want your opinion, too. No doubt. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? Enter on the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's StatementTees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.